Okay, moving on here with our uh, trinket box and our box joints. We're ready to glue this together. Um, I've fitted the uh, finger joints, and uh, so I've, I've, I've dry clamped this, got everything to fit well. Um, if you get a little bit of a <clears throat> difference between your ends and your sides, uh, just lightly belt sand that so that it is flush, at least on one side, because we are going to glue the bottom on today, okay? And uh, we're not going to glue the top on it this time because I want to be able to wipe out the inside and get the excess glue off, okay? So, um, and I've checked to make sure that it's square. That's really important because, you know, when I first glued this, when I first clamped this up today, it was way out of square. And <clears throat> you got to be uh, aware of that because, you know, you've already cut your top and bottom to the exact size, and if it's out of square, uh, it's really going to be a, a problem when you go to put your bottom on. Okay, so what I did there <clears throat> is I took a clamp and I squeezed it diagonally to get it back to square. Okay, and you can just check it. You can just check it with the piece and just set it on there to see if it is square. Okay, could this they take a tape measure and go from corner to corner? <clears throat> could do that, but you need you, you know, you could check it that way, but you're going to need a diagonal clamp to pull it into square. Okay, all right, so I, I'm ready to take these off. Now, when you say diagonal clamp, I don't know if they totally so, understand. So, what I'm talking about there, guys, is if this was. Uh, if I was going to clamp this to pull it in square, which it's out a little bit right now, I just go like that, and that pulls it right into square. Okay, and I so could you glue it up like that? Sure you could. Mm -hmm. If that part would We may have to. We okay. may have to, yeah. All right, so let's go back here, get our... Get your clamps set, though, okay? First of all, it's going to be a bunch of clamps. I like these clamps. There's, you know, if somebody else is using those, we'll have to use those uh, steel bar clamps, which are pretty heavy. Okay, that one goes like that. This one goes like this. I'm going to set them out so I can get them back the way they were. Okay. I've already numbered this. This is number two, three, four, and one. So I've got those all numbered, so I can get them back the way they were. Gently bring them, pull them apart. Okay, and then I've also uh, got my splice ready. Um, <clears throat> I have a, a paintbrush, which you'll find over there by the sink. Um, I put a little bit of water in this, okay, uh, so I can use to wipe off excess glue. Also, since this glue bottle's been sitting around for a while, uh, it, the glue may be a little bit thick. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I brought a piece of newspaper over. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on that. You got to work really fast because the work time on this is about 15 minutes, okay? And it starts setting up. And that means everything has to be glued and clamped in 15 minutes or less. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit on the newspaper here. And, of course, we have our lid that we're putting back on this. Safety glasses. Just put them on. Are we working? Uh, yes. yes. Just put your glasses on. What's that sign say? Okay. So we're working. Just go ahead and put them on, please. All right, so. Put glasses on with blue paper in the class. It's okay. <laughs> it's, I wish it has rules and we have to follow them. Well, if you put it like that, it sounds a lot better. Okay. <laughs> now, I don't want a bunch of excess glue squeezing out of this. Uh, and I'm only going to put the glue on one side, one piece each. I'm not going to put it on both pieces. And, of course, you don't need to put any glue on the ends, but you do need to put it um, all the way on, around the insides, okay? And, like I say, I'm going to be working pretty quick here, so that goes like that. It's okay. 
Okay, and then this is number one, and this is number four, so that's going to go like, like that. Do you ever put marks on your ends to match up the ends? Could do that. The way I've got these, though, you can still follow them. Because I know for me, I'd be flipping them around the wrong way all well, the time. Well, you saw when I put those together, I had the numbers to the inside. Oh, okay. It's like, whoops. But I could still tell. Okay, so here's my number four. Here's my number one. That goes on like that. I have a question. Yes. How long did it take you to sand all of your roots? I did it the day, the day that I cut these. Um, I was able to file them to get them to fit the day that I cut them. It took me maybe ten minutes. Ten minutes? Oh, Are you yeah. serious? Yeah, remember I videotaped yeah. Brian, it. Brian was here minutes. when I did it, huh? It was about ten minutes. Did you do that before that? Mine's going to take me like an hour. Did you mark the ones that were tight? Did you put little marks on the ones that were tight? Because you don't need to file them all. You just need to do certain ones if they're off a little. The other class is having a hard time with that also. Yeah. My, no, my, my thing came out all uneven and stuff. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I think that clamp was uh, part of the reason that was happening. Um, you the know, spring that, clamp? Yeah, the spring clamp that they were moving on the jig when we were trying to cut them. Okay, so this says, this says out three. And so that's going to go just like that. Okay, fit pretty good. Okay, now we're ready to clamp. Okay, so these. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You can hear it on the video. So we'll put we'll put a little bit of pressure on it that way. I don't know that I need two clamps on each side. I'll put one in the middle there on that. And then we'll put one here. And we'll put one over here. I got. I, I'm good. I got what? I got no, I'm water. Just gonna, I'm just gonna wipe it down over here. Oh. I'm gonna wipe it down after I clamp it. Yeah, well, we're gonna get it. Because when you guys clamp these, that glue is gonna is gonna squeeze out a little bit. So you take you take a wet paper towel and you just wipe those wipe those good. Okay. If you don't wipe the glue off of there, guys, when you put the finish on, even if you use a natural oil finish, it's going to show up really bad and it's going to really be ugly. No, it it doesn't look good at all, really. So don't be afraid to put some water on this and wipe that down pretty good. Okay, the water's not, it's a water soluble glue. It's not gonna hurt anything. So, see how I'm really wetting that down. And I'm gonna do the inside as well. But we gotta, we gotta move pretty quick here because before this stuff starts setting up, I gotta get that lid on. Okay, I'll come back after I get the lid clamped and check it, see if there's any other places that need, uh, need to be wiped. Okay, now we take the, uh, I'm going to use, I'm going to do the bottom, check it for square. Uh, it's off a little bit, okay? And so what I'm going to have to do there. Well, then the whole thing, the whole thing's cockeyed then. Yeah, and your, and your walls get thin. So this needs to be pulled that way. So all I got to do is put a clamp on here like this. It doesn't take very much pressure. You have to find a different way to clamp Okay, so I'm pulling that just a little. Now I went too much. I went too much because it's further out now. No, I, I actually. 
You ever used band clamps? <laughs> yeah, I have. We're actually pretty, pretty good there. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. Just by moving that, uh, when I did that one diagonal, it flexed it enough to where everything pretty well stayed. If this glue starts, like I say, if it's too thick, if you think it's too thick, dip your glue in the water just a little bit, then it does. The glue is actually stronger than the wood. A lot of people don't understand that. If, if I take uh, two pieces of wood and glue them together and it's a good, and I compress it. Now you've, this tight bond, tight bond glue has to be compressed. If you just put two pieces together and just set them together touching and with the glue on it, it doesn't, it doesn't bond. Uh, but if you put it under compression with a clamp, then it will it'll be stronger than the wood itself. Okay. All right. So here we go. I've had pieces together like two blocks, two blocks together, smacked them apart, and it broke the wood, not the bond. Yeah, that's what it was. That's what it should do. It should break the wood and not the not where the glue joint was. Okay, I got four C clamps here. Uh, because this wood is so thin on the bottom, you got to be careful that it doesn't warp. So, how many clamps do we need to put on here? Four. Got to put four on here. It looks kind of like a medieval torture device, doesn't it? The way it's all set up. Kinda. We could just put this on someone's head and just crank it. Okay. So, John. Yes. Why am I putting four clamps on the bottom? So you keep it in the square? No. So it puts an even amount of pressure around it. So no. What did I say? America. If this wood, with this wood being three sixteenths of an inch thick, it warps. The, the moisture from the glue will cause it to warp. Okay, I should have one more C clamp. Did I only get three? Okay. And this is why you want to have your clamps ready so that they're, guys, John, please. Uh, this is why you want to have your clamps already set so you're not sitting there trying to turn this two inches in while you're holding it up against the wood. So get it set before you before you glue, before you put the glue on. Okay. It's good. This one's not good. We'll loosen that up. Now, ordinarily, guys, when I'm using C clamps, I put some kind of scrap wood on these so I'm not making dents from the metal clamp. But I put those on. There's not a lot of tension there. I'm not smashing these things down. It's, they're very light. But they're, they're uh, sealing it up real good. <laughs> Everything looks good there. You got to be extremely careful when you turn it over so that the other clamps don't fall off. But I'm going to turn it over here so I can check the inside. See a little spot here where I need to get the glue off. Okay. Questions? <clears throat> Thursday, remember, we're having a visit from Redstone College with their uh, jet powered dragster. So, so they'll be here Thursday to talk to you a little bit, but you'll see videos of the dragster running at Bandemir Speedway, and then they're going to have the dragster outside. We can go talk to the pilot and ask them questions. How long should they let this stay set up before I, they can take it off? Considering that there's, we have 
X amount of clamps. Exactly. I would say if you leave that clamp for 45 minutes, half the class period, then you should be able to unclamp it. Yes. 